I am taking a class in development psychology. Just I wanted to brief you. There are certain concerns. So after that, I will begin the class. The growth and development. So many times it is asked for the exam also. Differentiate between the growth and development. You should understand. Growth is always quantitative, whereas development is qualitative. Even the school level that the teaching learning is that. But what you should understand here is that when the uh, learning is qualitative, actually in the development psychology, that's what the growth and development. This is developmental psychology. So growth part is there. Little portion is there in the growth part. This anybody is a simple literature. Anybody can understand, but in the case in the in the case of development, it is purely theoretically based. So uh, there will be many new terminologies, as like Jalaja Kumari Madam was telling you. But you should really understand the concept of each and every terminology, because sometimes Freudian development theory comes. You may write. Uh, Uh, ego as a, as actually usual ego he do it no it is his terminology so that is why uh, though jalaja madam said uh, this uh, class is not compulsory unless or is you attend the class or those who cannot attend the class listen to the video and interact with us uh, you will be writing many nonsense in the exam that is the problem so please be attend with the class be serious about it Uh, i am proud to say that i ta already taught the nearly 5000 students in igno altogether so because uh, right from the beginning uh, of the introduction of this course um, i was here in from 11, 11 onwards so uh, please let me begin the class uh, with this particular concept of growth and development so in pg teaching qualitative is the primary requirement physical development quantity is spread in the material or just literature no teaching is required anyone can understand just by reading however the particular in utero physical development see i am i'm talking about this particular uh, soft copy material i am having 1.3 is under the middle of the igno material is well because now i think uh, all the five books or six books are coming together what i am having is uh, the soft copy from that i am telling is well explained in my slides under the pregnancy discussion which include both male and female basic reproductive anatomy all concepts right from zygote formation various in utero development today so today itself i will be covering so you should understand this is as jalaja kumari was telling it is a pure science so it is uh, sometimes you will be asked to write some three mark question regarding conception or zygote so you have to write you cannot say that this all biology no it is there brain in the cognitive the paper uh, paper 1 you have to study brain and uh, uh, endocrine system anatomy physiology everything you have to study so if you simply say it is all just art i will some read something no so many times you may have to work uh, with uh, medical doctors so unless or you know the basic uh, concepts Uh, you will break your tail that is why so i hope you are all listening well uh, are you i is it clear to you what i am talking yes sir yes sir okay. yes sir fine fine, fine. so various other physical developments ex utero or otherwise spread throughout your study material which is just literature so please read and understand so uh points under 1.4.2 when you can compare all this because even if the points are different you can get the subheads <coughs> continuity versus discontinuity to stability of any behavior versus change of it nature versus nurture i am very sad to say that though we are mentioning all this and taking in detail even after completing of the pg studies suppose a yy is asked what is difference what is the Uh, nature nurture is so one of the basics of human behavior so i will be discussing uh, not only me all the faculties are good enough they will be giving you extensive classes so you should also understand that normally 80 hours is taken for a uh, pg course in a regular college but we are getting only 10 hours even within the 10 hours we try to cover all the technical data 
all the necessary all what is necessary for you to continue your studies so third one in detail i am giving nature versus nurture the whole of psychology counseling you can't understand since they done extensively in work today today itself i'm covering that also so 3.8 the cognitive development in infancy basis of piaget's theory <coughs> throughout much under must understand the concept of cognition so when you say cognitive development in infancy why under service you know what is cognition you will not be able to follow this so everything is detailed and uh, giving uh, i'm giving it today itself and i'll be sending the ppts separately once the whatsapp group is formed at the end we will decide who will be the uh, whatsapp admin one or two people can come as a uh, term of research hence included in detailed discussion on the concept of cognition in the first session sir today then 3.9 linguistic development linguistic development phonology semantics grammar pragmatics etc must understand it differently why because please try to understand developmental psychology is talking right from conception to death so anybody is coming to you uh, please mute anybody who is coming to you as a client will be in this group a child or a school uh, child of third standard or fourth standard second standard or a teenager or a career problem with a 30 year person or after marriage or geriatrics all these are well covered under uh, mbc 002 so that is the importance of this particular paper and many students as a client We, uh, will many 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 students will be your clients so they they will have lot of learning issues academic issues so unless raise you know all this uh, uh, basics of phonology semantics grammar everything is covered in this paper then naturally uh, giving text material is uh, you cannot give extensive text material so we are giving all poems and reference books everything you can study for so second section session connecting your two behavioral theories studied under mbc 003 is it my first class for you or anybody any faculty has taken any class for you yes. first, first class first class first okay, okay. so so you, you will be studying all these theories in mbc 3 that is personality personality but uh, a portion of the theories of personality i also need to teach you because these concepts are coming not only that freudian concept is coming so uh, how to do your Uh, though prema ma'am was telling you start writing assignment i would tell you you start doing assignment i would say after doing this course in the first year itself you can definitely do a better tuition to students because you will study all these concepts so uh, you can definitely start doing some supporting practice and under service you, you really apply the theory that you studied you cannot there, there cannot be any use so certainly other impairments students can easily make up in similar ways so 1.4.3 stages of development like that short mention throughout the material usually also but see unless the student by heart at least the important theories thoroughly it's not possible to understand the topic or to practice because any client also come under any of the development stages told you right from a school child to geriatrics psychologists have got a play again psychosexual psychosocial cognitive are spread throughout the material best to learn the important theories initially itself for better understanding and connectivity throughout hence third fourth and fifth classes are exclusively covered with this portions so i think you are clear i will be taking five classes i will be covering these portions today itself or immediately after forming this whatsapp group i will be sending this ppt also later on completion of all the classes uh, i will see how students are because if i blindly promise you i will send the video uh, students will take it for granted no no unless or is you are actively participating in the class i will not be sharing the videos so under the mental retardation uh, the material 4.4 page 51 there is a just a mention of chromosomal disorders i i will i wish to cover in detail development disorders if not all for exam examination will be helpful for a job or if i am not able to take in the class i will share this uh, particular developmental disorders because very very important 
the job opportunities are there in many hospitals unless so you know all this uh, you will not be given any dignity uh, you, for that because the dignity is closely related to the knowledge so uh, i wish all of you will be uh, attending in 10 hour class that we are having and i'm sure after this 10 hour class you in my paper you will never have any doubt because i'm i'm trying to cover everything in detail and i also share the ppts so development domains are complex for example it is written development domains are complex 1444 domains of human development the domains of development are categories used by scientists the categories include physical cognitive and social domains this one physical growth very easy that anybody at, uh, at what age what will be the size what will be the weight all this you can understand but the cognitive that means how the growth take place first uh, uh, for a third year person how will be his cognition scientifically i mean uh, as a benchmark then social domain what will be the social social skills that a student should acquire so there are measurements also in practical you will be studying all the nail and the social maturity scale lot of these scales are there so you can come uh, you can combine your theoretical knowledge with the practical experience then you can measure uh, the conditions unless uh, after maybe after getting the license everything that uh, after you qualify there are many options to do that when the physical changes are maximum this domain includes how humans view the world as development progresses as a result of physical growth and interaction the development is printed um, matter is a in printed matter is a mistake that is what development and physical <coughs> growth that is what when physical growth is coming in parallel development should also progress okay now uh, i'm skipping a few i will be because uh, i already lost some uh, 40 minutes so what i am trying to tell you is that i'll i'll send it this to you i'm coming to directly to the class portion so i am just to begin the class with a small story <clears throat> so i from a caption i wanted to tell you this if you don't know the course you get instructional paradigms built on faulty assumptions i'm i'm just to trying to brief it then only you will understand the importance of learning this particular subject as uh, so our region back as our region back was telling this is a marvelous so beautiful subject sure including malayalam english all literature everything is beautiful but this particular uh, subject unless otherwise you know the terminology the concept and have got a clear idea about what is being discussed you won't be able to understand and get a link on what is studied and apply in the life so this particular uh, saying if you don't know the course you get instructional paradigms built on faulty assumptions it has got lot of implication for example when a client is coming to you unless or is you are able to diagnose the diagnosing tools are there you once you complete all the studies seriously you will be able to measure yourself you can measure a client find solutions also so what is the importance of this i am just trying to tell you uh, how to measure what is the importance of knowledge just i am trying to tell you a person is trying to just nail uh, using a nail fix it in a on a wall i hope you are listening uh, a person is trying to drive a nail on a strong wall masonry brick masonry work is done it's a plaster he has got only one tool in with him he has got only one and only tool that is a just a iron piece uh, that the hammer hammer just with the iron iron piece do not have even a crowbar when he is trying to drive it the wall will not accept because the wall is so strongly constructed with the bricks and masonry work and it is plastered so it will get out of your control it will, it will, it will throw itself to somewhere so you may because you have got only one tool you don't have any other tool with you or just a hammer with an iron piece 
not even crowbar so somehow you will take all the effort use many nail and finally you will fix it <coughs> you see that you have got only one tool always next day suppose or so after some time you wanted to pull it out at that time also you don't have another tool this aegium tool with a long handle and an iron piece what you will do you cuz you don't have a crowbar on a fixed in a hammer or extension as in the hammer so somehow you will hit from various sides and make the hole more uh, radius more wide and then you will pull it out another day suppose you want to bend it then also you don't have any tool you have only this tool what you will do you will try to change the direction because you cannot make a curve on it you cannot bend it see take the other way around suppose you had a drill you are before driving the nail you are using a uh, when a drill and making a spot making a, a vent for the nail to get driven so then it, it easily goes inside the wall by hitting with the same hammer now suppose you wanted to pull it out suppose there is a crowbar extension is there on the uh, hammer and uh, with a spacer you can simply take it out tomorrow if you want to bend it the same way suppose you have got another tool that can be tool that uh, half uh, uh, half area of the nail is cut and bending with a bending tool so now easily it is done so my dear friends if you don't have enough knowledge in any subject you can't proceed so the same way you have to make every knowledge in psychology every concept so very vast subject you actually one lifetime is not enough for you to learn so that much thing is there so i hope you understand the importance of uh, remediation that you require from the first day of learning itself so welcome all did you understand the story i told you now yes yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. fine so i am dr p jayachandran academic counselor igno rc kochi so the concept of nature nurture i am going to discuss in detail this is very 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 important because unless as i suppose i am asking you just i am asking you who you are what will be your answer since it's a online class i am trying to answer uh, based on my experience what you will be giving i will say i am this that the name or the uh, the daughter son of some person or i am an official officer in somewhere that much you will be saying but scientifically also you can find the definition to who you are this is there in nature and nurture and this is the base of psychology in fact because the most modern psychological definition itself it's a study on individual differences you will see that uh, many def definitions say it is a study of mind and behavior but you should understand it's just actually it's a study on individual difference why everyone is so different so let me take some water so nature and nurture so right now you just uh, listen to me you not have to look into the screen i will show you the screen later you please try to understand see when the first cell in the mother's womb the first cell in the mother's womb is formed by the sperm of the father and egg of the mother so all this you have to study as a part of your syllabus so it, when it joins together we call it as zygote so zygote has got 43 46 chromosomes 23 pair 23 pair 46 chromosome in each and every chromosome there are umpteen genes you may be knowing that every gene represent a particular 
representing a particular characteristic even the height of the person the color of the skin the eye hair that is why when the criminology uh, how a, a, a person can be caught they start here if, if the police police people are getting just the hair also that's why the dna can be found out from the so dead cells so all this knowledge you, you have so what you should understand is a zygote is actually formed by a sperm of the father and, and the egg the of mother. the mother so when that is the truth so the, we call it as nature because it's permanent further divisions are taking place at uh, place uh, within uh, nine months and a child is coming out so you should also understand though in your textbooks uh, the nurture that means the way in which a plant is also brought up is called the nurture the way in, in which a person is brought up or a plant is brought up for example a berry tree a small seed becomes by nurturing because a huge tree likewise man is also getting nurtured but though it is mentioned this nurturing is taking place after the birth in many theories you have to more scientifically inquire because this uh, nurture is taking place from the mother's womb itself it is there in the bible it is there in the mahabharata that is the abhimanyu story and uh, the luke when the elizabeth uh, uh, is seen by maryam the person to be baptized is to be born means the child is sleeping in the womb likewise in the um, abhimanyu story so uh, hepar institute of ireland if you simply search uh, the net hepar institute of ireland it's a uh, world's uh, one of the popular and the earliest institution in neonatology studies they have what they said did is that uh, they copied uh, the voice songs of the mother and through ultrasound it is made to listen uh, in the mother's womb so the child was responding from uh, fourth month onwards so it is found that though it's a text nursery is taking place uh, after the birth actually nursery is taking place it's in the mother's womb itself all this i'll be showing today so now you just go, uh, read this uh, i will now you can read it silently uh, so <coughs> i will take one uh, one minute break and you just go through this i'll be showing this uh, two three slides you read it what i have told you only this shown in the so that's what the nurture it's beginning from the mother's womb it ends only in the graveyard by taking psychology especially this particular subject psychology <laughs> by after completing the classes of the tutors itself lot of nurturing will take place in you because if you sincerely listen to us you get new concepts so it will help you grow further so the nurturing take place even after uh, listening to a single class also so likewise uh, after marriage uh, childbirth lot of nurturing is taking place in a person that's why uh, now you got a scientific answer that is a person means nature and nurture that is uh, uh, as gene genetic wiring as received from your parents and from the mother's womb itself learning takes place and that ends only in the graveyard and me and you everyone is learning day by day so this is called nature and nurture are you clear about this yes yes sir yes, sir. Okay. okay okay so be sincere to yourself by studying the psychology itself you must be able to tell you are uh, spouse or your children or your parents that what you learned so please try to understand uh, i'm just asking a simple question if everyone in this world is born as part of nature that is birth is taking place as a part of nature that is as contributed by father and mother then nobody is responsible for it it is uh, it is uh, that is what whether it is xx or xy all these decisions are taken by the god or the nature uh, who knows how the genetic wiring whether uh, 
uh, that I you would have learned uh, right from 10th standard, the Mendel's theory of genetics. So uh, what is expressive, uh, what is dormant, nobody knows. So the nature is something fixed by God or uh, that uh, you say, can say it's nature, that's called nature. So if a person is a result of nature as well as nurture, I'm asking you a simple question. That is, if you do a crime, police may arrest you, court may punish you, that's a totally different thing. So uh, if the, a person is purely nature and nurture, let me ask you a simple question. Can we find a fault in others for their behavior? Not completely. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. And um, thank you that at least you have tried to understand that uh, no meaning in finding fault in others. It is actually a very, very touching thing that you learned today. If everybody is a part of nature and nurture, okay, it's punishment, why the punishment is required, all these things you'll be studying. My, I myself will be teaching you. Because though it's a lot of part of uh, uh, my paper, from MBC3 also I'll be taking a portion to clarify all this. Now the thing is that if you take a decision today, now itself, that's uh, somebody was asking that uh, already it is six months over, how are we are going to complete this portion and all that. I'm just jo joking, still you understand the seriousness, the irony behind it. If you take a decision, sir, as sir said, as a part of igno learning, we got two concepts like uh, nature and nurture. And if we listen to this carefully, that we cannot find the fault in others because another person, if anybody in this world is created by the uh, joining of the zygote, I mean, uh, the, the sperm and the egg, and further uh, learning is taking, nurturing is taking place for the mother's womb. And after a person is born, uh, pa parents, grandfather take care of, then peers, society, and the learning takes place till uh, graveyard. If that is true, why to find a fault in others? So the moment you take a decision, I won't find fault in others, I assure you, every two years you can take a postgraduation. Do you agree with me? Yes. yes sir. That's right. Don't waste your time by finding fault in others. So the new good learning you studied, uh, let me continue. And uh, another thing, you also start doing some counseling. See, the thing is, just a mind to listen to the pains of others is also a part of counseling. So now you see, when uh, you can see three pictures here, a face showing equal like and dislike. The two, a face showing major part of experience sorrow. Face showing major part of experience as happy. Take a decision, whoever to whom you meet, whomever to whomever you meet. A person may be having the first phase, half like, half dislike, or sorrow and happiness. The other person may be fully gloomy, may not be having any happiness. Our the as a psychologist, our work is to make a person in the third picture. Okay? We'll yes. start seeing. Fine. Very good. Okay, sir. Sure. So they like this, like the phenomena, all this. Uh, so now let us see. Oh, please mute, uh, because we are short of time already. Please don't disturb. So this is actually from your own syllabus. You have to study because all the meiosis, meiosis, XY chromosome, XX chromosome, XY chromosome, all this, you will have to study. So I am going it in detail. Don't worry, I still I will be covering the portions. Why? Because this much studying, because I told, as uh, somebody was mentioning, we cannot have vast textbooks for you to teach you. We cannot have vast textbooks to teach you. Our study materials worth good enough, but that will not be enough for you to learn further. So a particular portion I am taking in detail. So in this way, you study each and every concept. Now, so 280 days, as you know, this is, this is what? If I'm asking you from some serial centers, this is that, Pattu Maasam Nundu Prasavichu Dalle. Apa yenda Pattu Maasam Ennu Parayana Da? Pattu Maasam Ennu Parayana Da? That is true. It is, they are 
taking 28 days as the month, the lunar calendar. So, when, so it is exactly true, 280 days, 28 into 10. But as you know, the European studies have come. Uh, now all over the world, the European calendar is uh, common. So the 30 days calendar means uh, 270 plus 9. So 280th day and anyhow the delivery should take place. So I hope you understood. So that is a, one is solar calendar, one is lunar calendar. So the 280 days lunar calendar is perfectly all right. But uh, it is not, uh, it will not be understand, understood by others. Now the next one is that uh, if I'm asking you just uh, what is preposition, uh, you would say at, uh, that's what, so beginning the studies, at, uh, among, on, towards, it is not like that. Like, you know, the pre-degree, prior to degree. Likewise, preposition means something that you have to position. Likewise, only you study each and every word. Here, the prenatal. Pre means before, natal means relating to birth. So this is actually from your own syllabus. I'm going with detail, that's all. So I told you about this uh, cognition. Yeah, I, how can I explain the concept of cognition? Even for a prenatal, I explained to you, pre means before, natal means natal birth. Yeah, likewise, you should understand, preposition in English means something that you have to position. It is, it, uh, see, the at, before, uh, or uh, among, uh, towards, these are all examples. Preposition means something that you have to position, that even students do not know. I'm not blaming anybody. This uh, Our purpose should be verbatim knowledge, very good knowledge, and should be applied in their life. So here the prenatal means prior to birth. Likewise, cognition. Without studying the cognition, you cannot study psychology. How to know what is cognition? I'm telling you a best example. That is, suppose you have got a pet, dog or cat. The left picture is a cylindrical piece, like a cylinder. You can see at the top, stimulus is written. At the bottom, response is written. So suppose uh, you've got a pet. Uh, you are trying to feed that pet, uh, even in, in your uh, at your dining room, or the drawing room, or visitor's room, whatever, even a bedroom. Because its pet is so favorite to you, but later you come to understand that the pet is playing and making the area a mess. The visitors get annoyed, they get ashamed about you. So you take a decision that you will not give it in the visitor's room. You will give feed the pet only at the back side of the kitchen, a particular position. All the members take a decision. Here you should understand. Then onwards the dog or the cat, your pet is not getting food in the drawing room. So if one or two times you call the pet with your with the food, what will happen? It will follow you. Later on, words you will the, that the pet will learn that that is a stimulus. The top what is a stimulus? Suppose I suppose all students are sitting before me. If I throw a piece of chalk uh, at the face of a student, he will blink. He will try to close the eyes. So that is the response. So, so that's a stimulus, that's a stimulus. So any such indications are stimulus, a word or an, a wink of an eye, everything is a stimulus. Likewise, here the stimulus for the dog is that no food in the old place. So the response is here, the response at the end of the cylinder. It's a hollow cylinder, no cognition is there. Just by putting a stone, by placing a stone at the top and uh, if you withdraw, uh, that stone will fall down at the end of the cylinder. Likewise, no, just the training to the dog that no food in the older place, food will be available only in the new place. It is also a stimulus and response. But human cognition, or even for a dog, trained dog cognition is there. So in a human, it is a stimulus uh, response means, uh, it is like this, a half circle, a stimulus means a thought process is taking place. Whatever thought is taking place, that has to be assessed with the senses. Because a human brain or a trained pet, it is supposed to use its senses and try to grasp. 
then assimilate with the brain. Assimilate with the thought process. First, uh, first understanding with the sense, then try to assimilate with the brain. Assimilate means the way the food is getting digested. Your brain should digest what was the stimulus. Then respond. That exactly is the cognition. That means you will have, will study by second year what is cognitive behavioral therapy and all that. So here the complete the brain application is there. <coughs> so <coughs> CBT is the right uh, therapy. It can include all other therapies. That all by second year you will learn. In the first year, why I am taking this pain to make you understand what is cognition? Because in the developmental theory, there is a particular theory by Jean Piaget. It is written as Jean Piaget. You have to uh, read it as, spell it as Jean Piaget. Cognitive development. So the brain function <coughs> that is being discussed. So I hope you clearly understood what is the concept of cognition. Are you clear? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Likewise, I am trying to teach you each and every concept and we will finish the most of the uh, MBC2 portions by end of the fifth class. But you get relaxed, don't worry. Now comes the this, uh, this all I discussed. No meaning in discussing again and again. Just I'm showing all this. Male sperm, female egg. Now, this is the male anatomy. Here also, you will come to know the vasectomy, tubectomy, all this terminology is a part of what? It's a part of your studies. So what is the importance of cognition or knowledge or how, why the people are not thinking? Uh, because even when you study, you don't think and understand also, you will have a problem. This male anatomy, I'm just asking, male, female, female, both uh, group are there in this group, in this, in this. If I'm just asking you a doubt or asking you why a question, for example, you know, as a control, childbirth control, uh, most of the females are asked to do tubectomy. Can you answer why uh, gems are not ad ad adopting to, opting for vasectomy? Can you tell any reason? Even doctors may be available here in this group. Uh, can you just tell me why the people, gens are reluctant, males are reluctant to go for vasectomy and many females are going for tubectomy? Why? After that control. What is the reason? Most of them uh, fear of uh, impotency. They are not planning for what they exactly, can do. Exactly, exactly. They are not ready to take risk. So they think that they think that uh, by doing vasectomy, their sexual capacity may get diminished. So let somebody view some disturbance is coming. That particular person, please mute. We are taking very serious class. And this being recorded by Delhi. Okay. Now the thing is that that is the importance of cognition. Cognition is always based on knowledge. If you can impart knowledge in psychology also, Imparting knowledge is very, very important. Whatever be the issue you have based on career, based on the family life, based on education of the children, knowledge is the best. So knowledge and cognition is closely related. So please try to understand here is that, suppose you are educating a person, need not have to worry about vasectomy because you using this picture, you can explain to him that is, you can see at the center, that is in between the seminal vesicle, you can clearly see this. Seminal vesicle uh, from one side, prostate gland from the other side, and from the bottom, you see the testes, that is a, um, the organ, the, the bo bottom portion of the penis, that is a, uh, that, that particular bag, it is a testis. From that testis, there is a tube called vas deferens. The testis is producing what? Sperms. The sperms actually, it is not visible with the naked eye. So you will study, that is why. Why I am taking this pain today is that 
you may ignore studying particular biological portions from my experience vast teaching experience taught nearly 5000 students many students are reluctant to study mbc 001 cognitive psychology there is a in-depth study required as far as brain is concerned as well as endocrine system in the endocrine system you study the uh, clock of the body that is hypothalamus the hypothalamus when it is getting a particular pleasure point that is uh, the satisfaction uh, the hypothalamus is uh, playing a role that at the same time three things will be coming out of the penis that is from seminal vesicle the semen liquid will come from the testes the sperm will come from the prostate gland the white matter will come white the white solu that solution that is giving the white color to the the, the semen semen is the liquid the white color is given by prostate gland then testes provide the what the sperms sperm otherwise also with the naked eye you cannot see so in vasectomy only this vas difference is cut and tied now the puncturing is there so that is not coming out both the semen is coming out from prostate gland that uh, white avakshiptam adam adilude urimichana varunathu so the climax of your satisfaction so you can now clearly understand after vasectomy also no difference in what is coming out only the sperm is not coming out even pr prior to vasectomy also the sperm is not seen in the liquid the solution now are you clear now yes sir yes ah. this is yes, sir. you can also use the importance of uh, uh, net learning you can also learn further this is what i wanted to teach you what is cognition the cognition is this one understanding with knowledge see thinking is possible only if you have got knowledge for example and um, and a farm, farmer is actually a, a prestigious position farmer because he provides all the food for us but that person is accustomed to farming alone if that person takes a decision tomorrow i want to become a cardiologist it is not possible because it, it doesn't have the base likewise a psychologist will have the base to work only if he has got a very good knowledge like a medical doctor so this is my effort so please try to learn each and every terminology every word like our director jayumari vastling she also qualified ma psychology uh, in addition to her many other qualifications and also our prema ma'am uh, was our student uh, she is also was a uh, academic uh, director assistant regional director and she was a retired department head from uh, government aided college acquisition college uh, she has written many books you are you must be proud and uh, happy to say that such people are there in your group everybody is an asset so please try to understand make knowledge from every class from every of books and also there are many books available in the market in the net nowadays uh, you are lucky that you don't have to even buy the books so next is the menstrual cycle here also the cognition is the most important thing that you have to understand so because this is a part of your studies with that i am trying to explain what is cognition though even many females are there in this class i don't think every female in this class is aware of the menstrual cycle how it happens whether that has to be uh, forget about the religious uh, stigma that's all entirely different to be scientific is there anything to be kept aversion it is feel an aversion in it menstrual cycle at least one or two people not everybody don't spoil the uh, class can anybody explain what is this menstrual cycle may i please uh in a cycle of usually it takes 28 days for uh, for menstruation that is uh, the female egg is released and the uterus uterus always prepare the egg for a uh, delivery so the wall line the uterus wall linings get thicker to in in a in a uh, in a 
preparation for the child and when that doesn't happen the wall and everything uh, falls off that is see and that is what happens uh, in a menstrual cycle okay. okay fine now let us explain in a more uh, theoretical way because for you sometimes a short question also will be asked what is fsh follicle stimulating hormone so if you study this in a philosophical way that will catch your mind i'll tell you every time after the menstrual cycle the menstrual cycle menstrus menstruation is taking place because conception is not taking place am i right yes yes sir yes yes, yes. yes. so that means uh, every time the egg expects and philosophically you can think garbhapatratinte dahamana sheriki parnjale the menstrual cycle every time and then philosophically we padikku nu parayana nammal when the egg is released the egg is expecting at least one sperm when that is not getting it is awaiting so the moment this uh, menstrual cycle is over the next preparation that is prior to releasing of the egg itself our uterus is trying to make preparations so it is called the follicle stimulating hormone for the baby to lay down there should be a bed you know that is the follicle so that is the estrogenal phase now what it comes it waits when it is not getting a sperm then the luteinizing phase that is luteinizing hormone luteal phase follicular phase as well as luteal phase it has to go out it must go out because the conception didn't take place so when that is going out adile endana what you can say oru vritti kedano alla nundengil it is something absurd nothing it is actually uh, you should it is a divine activity taking place in the body but as far as the belief a uh, temple or anything you follow the order of society nothing wrong you should follow the order of society nothing wrong in it but pandu kalatha kenda the menstrual cycle la maati irathya so that's all you have to, you should be hygienic that doesn't mean that in endengalu or aversion da karyam illa are you now clear that the importance of cognition linking the cognition with the knowledge yes thank you thank you that's why right. this is the whole purpose of studying psychology you should be able to uh, visualize you should be able to estimate you should be able to evaluate based on your knowledge now these are all i have already covered just showing the picture so this uh, you sometimes you will be asked about what is uh, uh, the zygote formation meiosis mitosis all these are mentioned here but, but uh, normally uh, in the disease education students are not harassed by asking such questions but you can expect a short question like uh, meiosis mitosis anything so all this is also i have explained already 23 23 then here also importance of cognition importance of cognition is that i am just asking you suppose a um, girl after the marriage the girl is giving delivery only to female children first child second child even third trial third child was also female who will be blamed usually somebody answer women always women always see Correct. you should understand the 23 pair first you should understand 23 from the mother 23 from the father see father is having boy oh, that is a father he is xy girl is xx in any case her 23 will be x <laughs> x only so uh, uh, actually if you blame no meaning in blaming either the husband or uh, wife or the boy or girl but if at all to be blamed it should be the boy you know because the boy uh, should give in that way if you blame the boy should give why that was reason if you explain this to the mother in law they would say she should have caught the why <laughs> are you clear yes so that yes, is sir. the importance of cognition 
Now, who determines the sex of the baby? Dad. Do you, are you feel interesting in the study of the psychology? It's a great subject. Yes. 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 So yes. The yes. First, first trimester. So actually, we were taking. We were, we are also eager to see you in person. And like in regular college, you know, on Saturday, every Saturday and Sunday, continuously we'll be taking. Because for example, last batch it was seven hundred students. We'll be spreading this into four batches every Saturday and Sunday. One tutor will take and take, take his particular. Or throughout uh, six months and uh, next six months, we will be taking Saturday Sunday classes. So like in a regular college, we are also eager to see students and take classes like a college lecturer. But like in any other regular college. Every now it is only online. That also we are trying to make it so marvelous and beautiful by putting all the efforts and then preparing this uh, slides. So it's a master trimester, so very critical. Say yes, you know the organs are just beginning. So naturally, there's a risk. That is why you should take uh, rest. You should not uh, drive. Uh, should not travel in North Russia. All the periodical checkup is required. All these are advised because sometimes uh, tomorrow. After the COVID and all that, once the economic condition is uh, better, even the panchayat level there can be a councillor. It's actually the government was planning for all this, but the COVID, uh, the lot of financial implications, it may take a little more time. So this all, unless there is you know all this knowledge, even for a, a train to ASHA worker, you know the ASHA workers common in all. Answer, I'll send all this PPT also. I'm not wasting time. See, okay. <clears throat> now, just I'm asking because most of the mothers, many mothers are here in this group, or from your experience and knowledge, can you just imagine by one one and a half months or five to eight eight weeks, what will be the size of a baby in the womb? By one one and a half months, all of your most of your moms and all that, no? Can you tell what will be the size of a baby in the womb uh, by first uh, two months or one and a half months? Maybe two centimeters. You can see very interesting it is. Somebody, if this way, I'm asking personally from my experience, I'm telling even the medical doctors might say it is like a fist. You should understand. It's only one tenth of an inch. One inch you can uh, you can visualize with your fingertip. So one tenth of an inch only by five to eight weeks. That is one one and a half months. Still, the heart, which is no longer than a poppy seed, began beating. See in the uh, Doppler test the scanning, is that that arrow you see that baby. Still, while you just see the brain, branchial arc, eye, heart, liver, oblical cord, all this start functioning. This is the greatest experience. So you don't have to uh, be so anxious. Is it so? Yes, it is so. You just see the smallest stand, the smallest stand you saw, because after um, its bite, you cannot see that. You can only rub it. So even that and. Uh, when it is uh, moving, if you block, well, how small the uh, head of that uh, and brain of the ant, it also turns if you block. So likewise, our human body so marvelous. The chetra, the little parangya, the chetra chetra tnya palenni. That means it is all uh, so marvelous, a beautiful body that we have. We are spoiling it. Please try to enter through our thoughts and actions. So please try to understand this much functioning is taking place even from the child of one month, one and a half months. So fourth month, all the development we are going to see. So please uh, try to understand that the nurturing actually, though maybe in your many of the texts, nurturing takes place after the birth. It is actually technically it is not true. It is taking place in the mother's womb itself. So you just say nine to twelve. The vein, heart, everything, the right, left chamber, everything is taking place. 12 month, 12 week means just uh, uh, two months, no? 
a second trimester. Little safer. Overall, then onwards, every organ start uh, growing independently. So that is why the now onwards, the second trimester onwards, growth takes place fast. Best time for the mom because the quickening, uh, heating, or stamping, all this take place in the mother's womb. Baby begins to hear. See, what all faculty the child is learning? Eyes are developing. For a child, it's a horizon. The mother's womb is a horizon. So baby begins to hear. I told you the Hepar Institute has made many studies. You can also see, look into the uh, very sites uh, because they recorded the mother's songs and made to listen. So the child was responding by six months and all that. So one inch along, uh, they began swallowing because the kicking is taking place. And you know, for the lungs, uh, functioning of the lungs, the amniotic fluid is uh, intake uh, for the child. So the taste is also important. So uh, by end of this class, end of this class, means the fifth class, I'll be teaching you uh, the Erickson's theory where you will come to understand what is the importance of pregnancy, how a child should be taken care of even during pregnancy. Reach along. Sometimes a question will be asked like this. What is Lanugo? Short question. Though it's a three mark, full three mark you can get if you write well. Vernix, that's a, that's a small wax called protective wax. So that is Vernix. So anything may be asked. It's up to the university to decide. Otherwise, also you should have all this knowledge. Again, another point for cognition. Sometimes you'll be asked what is the age of viability. Or at least you should know what is the age of viability. Please try to understand. Suppose a child has to be taken out by six months or seven months. That child will be termed as a preterm. So the child's weight also may be just one one quarter. It will like uh, look like a big rat. That's too small it is. But the after the scanning and only that, the doctor take a decision that the child will survive. At that time, you should understand the full growth of the child will take place by nine months only. At least eight and a half months is required for the full growth of the lungs. Here, what happens is that as the gynecology department or neonatology department or the pediatric department, they are worried about the life viability of the life expectancy of the child. So they would also threaten the parents that you should not take to humidic climate. The many people should not handle the child, should be very careful, should be kept away from the climatic changes. All this to take care of the life of the child naturally when the child grows the child will be grown fully to the expected level as if the child was born after nine months no doubt about it because the as we were discussing the height of the child the color many other structures are decided by the genes it has nothing to do if the child is born early that means or otherwise the brain development that would have taken place after nine months has already taken place by end of six months are you clear yes yes sir you must speak that's a it's age of viability third trimester means six months are over when six months are over whatever be the brain growth that should take place after nine months, it's already been taken place. So, but what will happen? The child is a precious child. So, 
even after the child birth along with the growth of the child the people will be telling this story in front of the child many many times so the child may get the private eh? so i know may be having some problem suppose because in my clinic also many students especially i am practicing with the learning problems of the children uh, i practice in all area but uh, more in uh, learning problem of the children so the children are brought uh, with by parents saying that he is a preterm baby that is why the child is not studying well then i have to teach them all this showing this slides and all that. so child also takes there is a defensive mechanism you study freud defensive mechanism so the child will also take it as a, uh, take it for granted yes i am not uh, performing well because i was a preterm baby i was born early so parents also are in that tune then the child is getting uh, an escape escape is for the child oh why you will be like this uh, and child will take an excuse every time so please try to understand unless or is you make a very good in knowledge in the subject you other is suppose you didn't attend this class you never came never noticed it suppose tomorrow you practice as a psychologist a child is brought to you i am asking you sincerely will you be in the uh, will you not be won't you be in the tune with the parents you will be in tune with the parents am i right Yes, sir. That yes, is what. Unless, unless you make very good knowledge from the classes, as well as through higher studies, net knowledge, everything, googling, everything is well and well good enough. Unless, unless you make enough knowledge, now in this in this condition, you will join with the parents and say, "Sir, maybe true that uh, he was born by uh, seven months, and seven months uh, he his brain has not developed. That is wrong. Whatever development that would have taken place in the brain after nine years, nine." Uh, months that has already taken place in the six months. That is why it's called age of viability. Survival. Other is doctors after scanning only the doctor take a decision that much growth has taken place in the brain. Then only the delivery will be permitted. Other is MTP medical termination of pregnancy. So six months, I bro everything. All this development. Why I am talking about this is that these are all short possibility of short questions or even. Uh, a short essay, uh, write the neutral development. Then you can use all this. This six months, this is a six months actually. Six months baby. So, well formed by seventh month. See how many pos? What are all the positions? Please, I am. Let me attend the class. Uh, I am in a class, igno class. Igno is a class learn. Finally, okay, my dear friends. In this position also, because you just imagine the the, the 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 sanctity of our life. What all position we have? We sat, we are rolled uh, in the mother's womb. Are you thinking? Are you admiring the birth? Please try to understand. So great is the birth. See, for a better knowledge. Of this moment, from second week onwards, I'm showing again. Third week, fourth week, fifth week. Start shown outside the mother's womb because to fix fixing is not possible right now. That's why. When when fixing and showing is not possible. So so tiny it is that we have seen six weeks means almost one month. That's why one just one inch only. So that is why it's taken out and shown to you. See how many times uh, from eleven weeks onwards, how many times the ultra position is coming upside down. Look, so beautiful you can see. These slides are shown. Just I'm, I'm though I'm not supposed to talk all these things in a class. This you can see the Kalimanda film that Shweta Menon and Biju Menon. That is actually I shared this to bless. For a counseling work being done in that, <coughs> so all these are being uh, you can you can see all this ultra position. How the, this is same position you, you saw earlier also. See now it is taken inside. See, usually from twenty seventh week onwards, the child will be in the ultra position, ready to get delivered. 
how nice how beautiful is our subject he actually our uh, people knew this well even centuries back people especially from people from bharata knew about this land knew this growth uh, and the preciousness of the mother just uh, i am just quoting from the madhur panchaka of many of you have been because mothers day and all that is coming uh, in the whatsapp and all that i am just trying to explain the gravity of this the knowledge that the people had during those days though i am not good in singing just uh, i am just uh, reading it out with a meaning also in malayalam so hastam tavadiyam prasudi samaye durvara shula vyatha nairuchyam tanu shoshanam malamayi shayya cha samvalsari ekasya pina garbha bhara bharana kleshasi yasya kshamo dadum nishkriti munnado abitanayasthasi janani namaha this is shankracharya uh, taking the rounds uh, at his mother amma chitti nadanitte he was singing this the meaning you will better know if you uh, there is uh, listen the translation by kodungallur kunjikatta thambaran nilkatte petigavin kodungallur kunjikatta thambaran so nilkatte petunovin katha ruchi kurayum kalameram chadappam poikote kooti denda malamadil oru kollam kidakkum kidappam നോക്കുമ്പോൾ ഗർഭമാകും വലിയ ചുമടെടുക്കുന്നതിൻ കൂലി പോലും തീർക്കാവല്ല എത്ര യോഗ്യൻ മകനും അത് നിലയ്ക്കുള്ള ഒരമ്മേ തൊഴുന്നേൻസിഷൻ all this comforts the vomiting will be there and next poikote kooti denda malam adil oru kollam kidakkum kidappu that is what nairuchyam tanushoshanam malamayi shayya cha sambalsari almost one year this even after delivery also see malam adil oru kollam kidakkum kidappu the child toxins are being removed by the mother sometimes the edema will be there neer vekya color change all this will take and next thing uh, the mother even if there is a, a tooth ache or a severe headache no medicine will be given to the mother why because it may affect the child so that is why all this you just forget but one thing only shankaracharya is asking nokumbol garbhamagum valiya chumate edukkunnathin kooli polum you saw this this particular thing from right from 1 gram even a less than 1 gram you see that's my first week less than 1 gram to 4 4 and half kg isn't it 4 4 and half kg including amniotic fluid the mother is carrying that's what nokumbol garbhamagum valiya chumade dekkunnadin kooli polum pirkavalla etra yogyan maganu madu nerakkulla magada mother whether it is magan or mother magal Uh, the offspring cannot however grow on his so so you should understand so by studying psychology our behavior also should change have you studied the one another concept nature nurture no meaning in finding fault in others let the law take into the rule no issue but every day we find fault in others why it is it was, it was uh, as decided by the genes chromosomes and genes and lot of other nurturing take place in the inside the mother's womb that as, as you have seen and also outside the mother's womb after the birth a person has developed that's it a study on individual differences now you see the beautiful birth that you have taken uh, and uh, the birth given by your mother uh, let me ask you in a friendly manner are you remembering all this are you not indebted to your parents Uh, are you taking care of your mothers if at all you have done anything wrong please uh, ask for the forgiveness you should actually by listening all this uh, your eyes should be wet enough 
then only you can say that you studied psychology. Uh, okay, my dear friends, if you have got any doubts, uh, I'll, I'll complete all the proportions in another four classes. Today we got lost some time in introduction and all that. Uh, if you, you can post your comments or you can now tell, ask any doubts from this today's class. Uh, because it's, I've got only 10 more minutes. Now, tell me, dear, my dear friends, students. How did you like the class? It was interesting class. Sir. Okay, likewise we'll, be, likewise, we'll be taking very interesting classes on all the coming days. And I'll be finishing most of the portions. If at all I'm not able to finish, I'll be sending the video. As well as I'll be sending, sharing the slides to you once the WhatsApp group is formed. Do you have any suggestion or anything uh, to do? You can please tell. No problem. Sir, uh, one doubt, sir. Will the recording sessions be available in the YouTube channel? Okay. Yeah, uh, yes, yes. Sometimes uh, I think your, uh, your link, uh, ignore link, I will be giving this. YouTube channel, so they'll be putting it. No problem. That you'll be getting. Otherwise, also, my classes, I'll be sending to you in separate. Uh, once all the classes are over, after the fifth class, on this on the day of the fifth class, I will be sending all the complete recorded video of my class where I'll be standing and taking all these classes once again. Okay. Thank you, sir. So anything else? So you will be you will become a role model, the nature nurture. No fine, never take an oath today itself. You will not find fault in others. I will be contributing to my parents, the mother, the great birth given to me. This way you can change. And uh, your spouse, your children, your parents should say, oh, yes, after joining this course, uh, my children, my spouse was changed. OK, my dear friends, do you have something to share? You can please ask. No issues. Yes, sir, uh, okay. Tell me. Sir. Uh, do we need to uh, read any particular topic for the next class? No, nothing. For, as far as my class is concerned, I'll be covering everything. You don't have to worry. Almost 90% of the portions I'll be covering. You can get relaxed. Simply read the books. Absolutely no problem. Uh, today, uh, it's a different uh, topic. That's why I uh, slightly shifted from your syllabus also. Or I went in more detail to the syllabus. It is there in the syllabus, but you cannot understand anything uh, without uh, explaining all this every terminology. So when the theory sun is coming, I can be a little faster. Okay. If you have got some other things to ask, absolutely no problem. With regard to your uh, preparation of examination, etc., don't have to worry. I will be covering all these portions, how to study, how to memorize better. All this I will be covering. You can start writing uh, the assignments. Immediately after, uh, maybe after my next class, I'll be uh, within that period. Uh, our Prima Madam will be arranging a Google Meet where you will be, we will be explaining everything. Once Wars Group is formed, I can also share uh, some model assignment uh, done by other students also. Okay, don't have to worry. See, see you have written. See, very simple. You have written many essays uh, during degree and all that. No? Many are pages. Pages. You have, Qualifications also. Likewise, any essay, you write this also. There should be an introduction, there should be a content. See, many say you are not expected to copy. That's all. What you can do is that you write to the give the keywords, for example, a PRH is cognitive development. You give the same keyword in the Google, you will get enough sites. You don't copy it. You study the convert into a web file, you prepare a very good essay study this well then write in your own words this is the best thing you can start doing today itself no because you're all graduates no you can do it what is that is there totally difference in psychology yes, sir. unless there is a study today itself i'm not boasting myself unless there is a study each and every terminology like this how will you handle the clients a client may come um, with the parents uh, i mean both the parents will be there that such cases happened in my life um, both the family um, with the parents and the um, husband and wife is coming. There is a clash between who should go for uh, birth control, the surgery, whether vasectomy or uh, tubectomy. It is from my experience only I added this particular thing. Just by giving a knowledge, 
the boy was willing for a vasectomy. This one, the tubectomy was not did not take place uh, even with the uh, second childbirth because of some other concerns, uh, the health of the child and all that. So uh, later, then the, she had to go for a surgery. The parents were reluctant. Then boy was reluctant because of the re same reason that you were telling the impotency. Uh, so by sharing knowledge, uh, yeah, that's right. Without without sharing knowledge, a psychology can't work. No advice. If you give an advice, you are going to be a total failure. Instead of advice, you should give technical knowledge. Even when a child is not so, for example, many of you uh, may be having children, school going children, when a child is not studying well, no meaning, go study, study, study. How to study in a better way? That also I'll be sharing in one of the classes. So in that way, if you uh, give uh, better ways of learning, then the child will accept it. Advising, instead of that, you can uh, record it and make him listen. So it will not give any any image. It will not give any message to him. You have to support by easy learning. So you will understand. I will cover most of the portions. Not only me. All the tutors are good enough. They will help you in all the ways. Anything else? Any doubt? Any concern? You can ask me. No issues.